guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install RLCraft and install a free Minecraft server. So in order to get your free server, you have to go to Google Chrome. You don't, it, oh, and also guys, it doesn't need anything from you. You just have to, this link will be in the description below. So you just hit, you just copy that and it must be in Google, Google Chrome. If it's not, it won't work. So then you go to Minecraft servers free forever. If it doesn't show this, then you're probably not on the right site. You would now click play. Sometimes it takes a second, but it'll work. So now after you have it all set, so then it would ask you to configure your server. You could do friend access, but I, I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you have like friends that actually use this. So I already have it installed, but let me show you guys how to do it. So you go to mod packs, then you'll go to cursed forge. It just says cursed, but it's it means cursed forge. Then scroll all the way down. Then you would see RL craft. Click on that, then click on the arrow, and it would it would say install, but I don't need I don't need to because I already have it installed. So now we would go back to the server, and then you would click start. It would take some time to start. It w doesn't start right away, but it does take a little bit of time. So now that you got that all done, we got to go do. So now you, uh, now you have to get Twitch. In order to use the server, you need to get Twitch, cause, yeah. So go to Minecraft. Go to Browse Mod Packs. Search up RL Craft. Then you just click. It would, it would usually for you. It would say, install. But since I already have it installed, it's click, it's play. You want to make sure it's the same version as your server. So like, for example, this one's the same version as my server. The version 2.7.1. That's my server. So then you would click play. It would boot up RLCraft. And it would also, assuming that your server is going to, it would also boot up your server. And like once your server is ready to go, it'll give you a ding and it'll tell you. It'll say, hey, your server's online, then you can go. But it has to be through the Twitch. This is the easiest way to do it. Thank you guys. I hope this helped a few of you guys. I know one of you guys were asking for this video. So if you need any more confirmation, I'll help you guys in the comments below. I'll try to respond to all of them. So let me know if you guys need any help. Uh, anyways, see you guys.